Welcome back. We're here with Kate McKinnon. And Kate, I don't need to tell you this. You were in Barbie this year. I get, yeah, I got it. Yeah. I, but I didn't know this, that you and Greta Gerwig, uh, uh, roommates in college. Look at that. Well, Look at in the children. same, we were in the same suite. Okay, that's, uh, that, I'm gonna count it. We were in the same suite with also two girls who, God, they barfed in that tub. Yeah. There was just. Oh, you were. There was two tub in that tub. Barfers? Yeah, they, we didn't know that. They were like two that got tacked on, and my gosh. Uh, more than once they barfed in the tub? Yeah, a couple times. Wow. More than a couple times. And I thought, oh. I can't wait to get out of here. Yeah. So Greta, your old friend, yes. you've known uh, uh, since your late teens, calls you up uh, to say that she wants you to play Weird Barbie. Right. That must have been a very exciting call. It was very exciting, and it was also like, well, I, I she was like, I'm doing the Barbie movie, and I was like, oh. <laughs> cool. OK. And she was like, I have a character for you. And I was like, oh, OK. <laughs> and. She was like, it's, I was like, what is it? She was like, it's weird, Barbie. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so it's a documentary. My portion will be a biopic uh, of me. And a... So I was like, okay, yeah, fine. What is, uh, <laughs> uh, what was the inspiration uh, for, uh, visually, what did you want a weird Barbie? Well, so um, Greta t told me that it was like the, the Barbie doll that everyone had that was messed up, where, where you like you'd cut the hair off and you'd burn it and like mess the clothes up and stuff. And I had a lot of experience with that because my little sister and her friends had a lot of Barbie stuff going on. And there was one that they like cut the hair off and they she was always naked and her leg was always like <laughs> off and they called her urinelle because <laughs> someone at one point had I don't know. Anyway, they called Based her Based on the now. name, I do know. <laughs> um, so I, I just thought, well, if, if there was ever, ever in my life a character for me, that would be it. And uh, you got, we brought the doll. Did you, oh, I mean, yeah. how did you feel when you knew there was gonna be a, a weird Barbie? Oh, fine. I mean, yeah. pretty normal. <laughs> this is just. I mean, it wasn't as exciting as Jug Day. No, nothing could be as exciting yeah. as Jug. I'll take off the hair nut. Yeah. I guess she's also. I mean, you have to be. I, I'd be pretty happy with how this turned out. No, it's a It's incredible, yeah. and I, um, you know, the costumes were so fun, and the sets were so fun and stuff. And this is the hair that I am going for. I mean, yeah. I. It's it's on its way. This is where I've always, uh, this is me in the woods. That's what I am. Yeah. And what I've always been. I think, yeah, you take one. Oh my God, one handed, no! Kate, no! <laughs> I am. I'll tell you this. I'll yeah. tell you this before I let you go. What? I'm so jealous of everybody who works at that show that they get to get one more week with Kate McKinnon because oh. nobody did it better and I'm so excited to watch on Saturday. Thank you, sir. Here. I miss you so very much. I miss you too. You guys, that's Kate McKinnon, everybody. She's hosting SNL. This week, our musical guest, Billie Eilish, which airs live on NBC and Peacock. We'll be right back.